far. Some of the tainted fruit in the 2012 salmonella outbreak was grown right here in Indiana. Now food scientists are trying to find ways to deliver a cleaner cantaloupe to people. News 18 this morning looks at one of these efforts at Purdue. This may look like the experiment of a mad scientist, but it's actually the cutting edge of food safety. This is a cantaloupe being blasted with cold plasma in Purdue's food science building. Purdue professor Bruce Applegate says all you need is some fruit, the right mix of gases, and the right dose of electricity. Those gases undergo transformations to become very reactive, and they're very reactive. Um, and will kill bacteria very quickly. The process is similar to what happens inside a neon light, which explains the purple-blue glow of the helium inside. But instead of lighting up a room, these gases eliminate pathogens and bacteria that can lead to disease. Uncooked foods, Applegate says, are especially susceptible to contamination. They're you know, ready to eat foods or a raw product in a way where we consume it and we um, don't have a whole lot of ways of really ensuring to make sure that there are no pathogens or bacteria that would cause illness there. Purdue researchers are not only using this technology with fruit, but they hope it will also work on vegetables and other produce. Eggs, tomatoes, and lettuce have all been tested, but the technology may have the most effect with cantaloupe. The fruit's rough, grooved surface makes it harder to clean, especially when the target is microscopic. And what brought our attention to it is to be able to penetrate the webbing and the nooks and crannies to be able to get to where the bacteria might be where they couldn't effectively be removed by washing or standard techniques. Testing in the lab is an important first step, but Applegate says it's necessary to get out and talk to the cantaloupe farmers who grow this fruit. To be able to educate them on better practices and things they might consider in terms of making cantaloupe a safer product. Earlier this month, the program received a $75,000 state grant for this program, and part of that money will be used for outreach on cantaloupe farms here in Indiana.